good youtube it's your boy ik white man i'm back with another video man right now i'm about to show y'all a new 6-6 demigod build that's moving like 6-2 6 4s any small guard build this this build is it man i'm gonna just put it straight like that i've been searching for a tall guard build for the last three days man <laughs> last three days man my first build was a 6-6 but i didn't mess up on him i ain't gonna say i messed up on him but the agility on that build was not where it needs to be. You understand? So this is kind of like a replica of it. But it's like a lockdown build of the same version. You understand? So make sure y'all stay tuned for throughout the whole video. I'm going to have my controller settings. I'm going to have my shooting settings. I'm going to have the jump shot. Best animations for this build. I'm going to have some clips. I'm going to definitely show y'all everything about this build, man. But let's get into it. Uh, here's a couple clips of the gameplay that I've been using last night. I literally just made this build about eight hours ago, bro. Literally, bro. And by the time this get posted, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But look, look what I'm doing with this 6'6 six, six point guard. It's a tall, tall point guard build that can dribble. I'm telling y'all, man. Don't let any of these people out here confuse y'all that these tall guard builds can dribble. I'm seeing 6'9, six, 6'10 six, just coming through post scores, man. They dribbling, you know what I'm saying? You just got to find the right animations. You got to add the right wingspan, the right weight, the right play style to your advantage. Let's get to the controller settings, though. I'm going to show y'all. These are my controller settings, man. Look what I have and look what I got going on, man. My layup timing is on normal. I changed it to normal just because I have a low freaking layup overall on this new build. Understand? It's going right back to high risk. It is. Shot timing is on high risk reward. If you don't have your drone on high risk reward this year, what are you doing? Like, really, what are you doing? What are you doing? Put it on high risk reward. Go into my court. Start greening your shots. Learn the time shot. Learn the cue and get in your bag, man. Get in your bag. Learn the stuff in my court, man. For your animations, for your dribble moves and all that. Go to my court. That's why it's there for a reason, man. Get sturdy over there. You understand? My visual cue on this build is push. I know y'all seen on my last two builds, it was set point. But on this build, it just makes sense to put it on push with the jump shot that I'm about to show y'all in, in the next few minutes. But I'm telling y'all, push, cue. On the jump shot that I got now, y'all seen a little bit of the gameplay in the beginning. I'm going to drop more gameplay. Trust me. That's why y'all got to like and subscribe. <laughs> you understand? But definitely put it on push Q. Definitely go ahead and copy what you need to do. Copy what you need to do. But this is what y'all had to do for sure. Disable this right here, man. Because when y'all do the rhythm jump shots and the rhythm dribble moves and stuff, it will automatically just switch over your hand for no reason, bro switch over your i had to chat i had my chat had to tell me this when i was live streaming on the first day on release you understand definitely copy everything else down if you want to but that's this is my drill that's my controller settings man that's my controller settings man now i'm about to show y'all the animations and the jump shot on this build but first let me make this build verbatim for y'all i don't want to just show y'all the complete build when it's done i'm gonna show y'all verbatim i'm gonna go ahead and create the build so y'all can understand what i'm doing and see the overall the max overalls and all that now this is where i have right here i had him as a shooting shooting guard position i got him at six six height 190 you know what i mean because once you change it once you do all that man you know what i'm saying i would have him at the point guard position but i want him at shooting guard i'm trying to get the best defense defense out of him man i'm trying to get the best defense out of him you know what i'm saying so i go through the wingspan i'm starting to you know experiments to see what's going on see what the categories is looking like i'm gonna put him at 6 8 wingspan 195 pounds and 6 6 height man i'm gonna leave it like that i'm gonna leave it like that honestly 6 8 is gonna give me the most out of the dribbles 195 is gonna give me the most out of the weight you know what i'm saying with the speed you know the height is just the height you know what i'm saying so let's get into it first you want to put the ball handle all the way up to a 92 i will put it at a 93 but i'm gonna get them skill them skill cap breakers man and i'm gonna just add one right on there and it's gonna max me out with the 93 you understand that's what y'all got to put in your mind when y'all make these builds, man. Use this as a template, too. Don't copy verbatim by my build. This is my play style. This is my play style. You hear me? This is my play style. So just use it as a template and then tweak it to your advantage. You understand? I'm going to put my perimeter defense to an 82, 83. I personally, I would put it at 82, but you can get away with an 83. You know what I'm saying? Just to get the, you know, challenger. And the, you know, I just, oh, that's all I need on the perimeter. Tweak it to your own advantage, though. I'm maxing out my block, bro. Y'all see the blocks I'll be getting on my small guard 6'4 build, bro. I maxed it out to a 69 block on that 6'4 build. And I'm blocking 7 foot centers, post scores, and all that. Go to the live gameplay on YouTube or Twitch to catch all the live action. You understand? 68 interior, 
go down go ahead and put up the uh speed to 85 put your agility this is lateral quickness in the game y'all this is lateral quickness in the game this year agility you hear me put it up as much as you can when you don't have the ball when you're defending when you're doing all that i'm telling you agility matters in this game man if i had put this on my first build my first build had a 73 agility i i was like yo what am i doing you understand so i knew after that i knew what i had to do with the agility i put 75 vertical so i can get uh you know most of the dunk packages most of the most of the lit dunk packages you understand so put a little 60 uh strength put 60 strength go to three point i'm gonna max it out to 89 honestly man i'm gonna be honest i never had a high three point on any build in 2k ever my highest three point on any build 24 23 y'all know was an 80 overall i never had a high three point on any build in life but this is my highest three point on any build in in 2k25 man so this is this is this this is probably the opener for me you understand 80 overall i don't need a high over 80 overall it's an 80 overall man i'm green in any way man the middies is easy this year man i put an 87 driving dunk just for me to get the lebron dunk package anthony edwards all the important dunk packages so i can just yam on these dudes man i can yam them on on, on on the 1v1 court i'm gonna play a lot of rec this year 2k24 i ain't play any rec man y'all know i was just an iso player 2k24 but i'm gonna play a lot of rec this year and a lot of threes and the twos man definitely out in the park man so definitely go ahead and copy this build do what y'all had to do tweak it to your advantage like if you want to put more passing you can if you want to put more mid-range you can if you want to put more layup or anything take off the block and then put it on steel you can but look as i put up the steel at the end right here man you can get away with it and get bronze glo glove and bronze interceptor man you understand so this build is not that bad and look what it comes to man jr smith donovan mitchell and desmond bain man donovan mitchell jr smith and desmond bain that's not a bad mixture upper you feel me shot creating three level threat man shot creating three level threat now let's get quickly into these animations and into these jump shots test the build out in here too y'all will see animations and the jump shots y'all be able to get before y'all can finalize this build let's quickly get into the jump shot let's quickly get into the animations i currently got now these are the animations i got write them down do what y'all gotta do they do be changing a lot though i cannot lie dribble style will put Dewante murray on i cannot lie zach levine is pretty cool too but you know either or either or it goes uh drew holiday definitely is a good signature size i look at the little launches you can get in between bro like if i'm doing one move boom boom then i'm gonna go dead and just launch speed boost to the left or right man it's, this is really that simple bro get on the mic court test them out and do what all do what you need to do honestly you know what i'm saying go ahead and do that man but you know all these are really subject to change honestly because like there's new animations coming out every season and i like to just mix it up sometimes man like I, sometimes i like to emulate my favorite players too i like to emulate my favorite players so if i want to do kobe stuff that's my top goat if i say kobe a lot that's my top goat that's my top goat so y'all know what's going on man but you know if i say kobe a lot or Kyrie, definitely Kyrie, kevin durant anybody that you know that i like i like to emulate them a lot so i like to switch up my i like to switch up my animations man but these are the dribble animations that are currently y'all seen the clips at the beginning these are the animations i have bro they're definitely good man they're definitely good jimmy butler see the little scapes uh you see me come on man this build is definitely a good 6-6 six, six. i think this is probably the best 6-6 six, six, two-way guard on this on this damn game right now man i cannot lie i think this is the best one but let's get into the jump shot copy what y'all need to do slow down the video let's get into the jump shot right now this is currently my jump shot right now i did change it at like the last minute y'all see carmelo anthony for the first release and then oscar robinson for the second but i just went all the way 100 percent oscar robinson in all honesty bro because the release on the height is definitely higher and my visual cue when i see that when i see basically it hits my head i let it go man honestly bro soon like one little millisecond after it hits my head as soon as i'm about to release it but right before that split second that's when the push cue comes in i let it go bro honestly bro and it works out for me on this build i cannot lie it definitely works out for me on this build man so there you have it man that's all i got for y'all today definitely follow me on twitch man ik white man catch the live streams man or, or on youtube man i love y'all i'll see y'all next video man stay upper man i love y'all stay sturdy uh -uh.